guys, this is Rapid House Studios, and welcome back. Today, we are going to be playing some more Super Palette 2 as North Korea. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. So, in the last episode, we annexed China, and then they decided to fucking nuke us. <laughs> but that's okay, folks. That's okay, because... <laughs> They're the real losers. So yeah, the whole world pretty much likes us. We are at war with whoa. Who the fuck is that? Who is that? Oh, that's China. They still have what? China still has land? They probably still own like a little tiny ass island somewhere, right? Huh. Ha ha ha. I, oh, oh, right there. Yes, that's right. So they still own that little area. I should probably go take that, but then I'm just going to lose relations. Actually, well, the whole world hates them. Yeah, I, I won't lose any relations for attacking that. But we don't have a navy, so fuck that shit. <laughs> We're going to stay up here. We're just going to head over to a war list, actually, and peace that shit out. Or we're already peaced out. Yeah, we're already pieced out. Alright, well, whatever. We'll just stay pieced out there. But yeah, we've we've got to deal with this shit right here. Negative four holy fucking tits. Ugh, and, and, <laughs> that's a fucking billion, yo. <laughs> shit. Okay. Uh, yeah, we're definitely going to have to do something about this shit. Um, let's see here. So, <sighs> we're going to have to let our government drop probably. Oh, it's just gonna be so fucking expensive. We're gonna have to like completely get rid of foreign aid Drop tourism. We're gonna have to raise taxes back up to an 80% again Okay, let's get them up to 80% and see where we're at That should be fine there though. Do I have anything nationalized? No, we do not. We're probably gonna want to do that then Let's see. Are we even meeting consumption anywhere though? That's the question because we just annexed China, so that's really gonna fuck us up here. Unfortunately. Let's see. Um, yeah, I don't think we're meeting consumption anywhere. Fuck. Yeah, that's not good. Huh, let's see. Who really likes us? SCG. So, what is that? S I don't know what the fuck SCG is. Serb, no. SCG, what the hell? Sir, no, no, I, I don't know who the fuck SCG is. Serbia, uh, uh, oh, 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 it's Serbia and Montenegro. I didn't even know you could click the little countries up on the little shit right there. I don't know that. Cool. Uh, but yeah, they're not going to be able to give us any aid. So we're going to have to deal with this problem on ourselves. By ourselves, I should say. So we're going to have to like really fuck up our government spending right there. We're going to have to get rid of tourism, basically. Get rid of research, basically. Um, get rid of education, pretty much. And, yeah, that's going to... That, that's that's kind of how it's looking, guys. So, we just got to be pulling a surplus here. And we just got to be building up our infrastructure simultaneously. So, if our corruption goes up, it, it's going to go up. Because there's, there's really no way to do this without not having our corruption go up. So, yeah. That's pretty much how it's going to be. I'm just going to make tweaks, and I will come back when this whole economy situation is sorted out. Alrighty, yo, so I just thought I'd bring this to your attention. I'm going to have to go ahead and switch over to a single party. We've got elections in six months. We're in the year of 2018. Uh, gee, oh, fuck, I don't know what fucking month that is, yo. <laughs> Shit, um... <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna switch over to a single party democracy because I can't deal with approval right now My approval rating is gonna have to be shot because we're gonna have to lower spending That's just kind of how it is and also I'm gonna try and get a homogenous society set up So we are gonna go with what is the largest in our country and then we're gonna make everything else illegal so that way everyone assimilates and We're pretty much homogenous, but I want to be a hundred percent homogenous. So let's see English is illegal. I kind of want to keep Korean as the official shit, but uh, we'll keep we'll keep Cantonese and Korean, and then the rest fuck them. So that's gonna also tank our approval as well because a lot of people are speaking other languages other than Korean. So there we go. We're a single party now, and I'm setting us up. Actually, 
fuck that shit. Make that make that illegal. So it's gonna be 100% homogenous, and that really fucked up our stability, though. But yeah, I'm gonna just keep her going, and yeah, hopefully we will come back from this pretty soon. Alrighty, guys, so welcome back. It's been quite a while. We're now in the year 2022, and yeah, our economy still hasn't really recovered. We've gotten a lot of progress. We really have. I managed to max out my infrastructure, max out telecoms, keep education and environment in the green. It's just pretty much government now. Um, our corruption is kind of through the rough, though, but that's how it has to be, really. Um, so, yeah, there's that. We can also go ahead and take a look at our internal shits, right? So, pretty much everyone is switching over to Taoist. We've got a 93.5% Taoist population. And if we take a look at our language, 1.9 Korean... Um, so yeah, it's, we're making progress there, definitely we are, but not too much there. It takes a really long time for that stuff to change, by the way, so yeah, that, that's sort of a really long-term thing, but okay, anyways, as I was saying here, Burma has a really boss-ass economy. Well, yeah, they don't really have a boss-ass economy, I shouldn't say that, it's not that great, but they are meeting consumption and then some in quite a few areas, so I kind of want to actually invade them. Because if you take a look at their relations here, right? The West hates them. Uh, Africa doesn't really like them. And everyone in the Western Hemisphere doesn't really like them, right? So I'm thinking we could just fuck these guys up, right? So let's get our armies over here. And let's go ahead and embargo them. Yes, yes, yes. Myanmar shall be ours. Yes, yes. I should have, I should have been training up troops. Well... We have these guys. Let's let's go ahead and deploy these to our capital. And we should probably actually probably switch our capital as well to like... Let's see, what is this over here? Shandong! I got a big Shandong if you know what I mean. <laughs> um, let's see, Jiangsu. Maybe we should switch it over to Jiangsu. Let's, let's do that. Jiangsu. Let's see. F, G, H, J... Jiang, where are you at? Where are you at? I don't know where it's at, yo. Jiangzu. Jiang man. Jiang Jing. All right, whatever. We're just we're just gonna switch it over to Shanghai. I can't fucking find Jiangzu, <laughs> wherever the hell that shit's at, right? I can't find that. So we're just gonna switch it over to Shanghai. Why not? So there we go. Now our capital is Shanghai. Sweet. And we'll get our other troops over here as well. Sweet. And let's go to war with Burma. Hopefully this isn't going to plunge us into like a world war. No. No. Uh, let's see. What? Did they declare war on us? Or is that Chinese? That might be Chinese. Oh no. That's just a Burma fleet. Okay. Alright. Sweet. So it looks like we are only at war with Burma. Which is sweet. That's freaking awesome. Alright. Let's head over there. Let's bot these guys on the end. Here, let's also switch over to Empire to Control really quickly while we're in this war. But yeah, as you can see, our GDP is now at 5.5k. Still really shit, but it's better than when we started. And we're, of course, going to win that battle. We're going to steamroll over Burma, no problem at all. Actually, I'm kind of worried about this battle right here. They might win that. No, they aren't. Yep, sweet. We should also probably train up some uh, some infantry. Can we do that now? No, we still can't. I don't know why we can't do that. That's very, very weird. I don't know, it just doesn't let us. Yeah, it's odd. Very odd. All right. Well, whatever. We'll just go with a bunch of Kimmobiles, right? All right, whatever. Kimmobiles. Fuck that shit. Build 5,000. Get a few of those opened up. That's going to be a little bit expensive, but we can, we can handle it. And woo, we are pulling quite a surplus there. Actually, no, don't apply that. Don't apply that. Leave that there because I want to get rid of my debt. And then we can go ahead and adjust. Alrighty. There we go. There's Burma occupied. And let's annex them. There we go. Sweet. So yeah. Okay, yay, ooh, that made the world hate us a little bit there. 
Oh, I don't want to get Forney too much up there, because we still have a lot of other important things to spend money on. But we will put up foreign aid, just so our relations get better. So there we go. Burma is now a part of the North Korean Empire! Perfect, perfect. So yeah, I'll be back once again, you know, when... Shit, what is all this? Burma's about to be annexed, yup. Terrorism. Yeah, we've been getting more sabotage and sh uh, shit like that, so that's not really good. And it looks like we're making more money here. Let's go ahead and bump up foreign aid once again. Just so we can get an even higher relation boost. Alrighty, well yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead, tweak my economy, do all that good stuff, and I will be back. Alrighty guys, here we are, 2027, five years have passed, and our economy's back on track. We're at 92% resources. Our economic health is at a whopping 95.8%. Our inflation is really up there, but that that's alright. That's fine. Um, I've been able to get my personal income tax down to 71.5%. We can even lower that down to a flat 70% there. Our GDP is at 12 Okay, and actually I'm gonna lower that income tax down to a 65. Let's see how that works out Wow, we can even we can get it lower than that Hopefully this isn't when we start when we start it up Hopefully it's not gonna take a big dookie Hopefully we'll be able to leave it on 60% because yeah the lower you can have your personal income tax the better So yeah, I've just been searching for nations that really are hated by the world and there there are a few Like Israel's really hated by the Middle East, but I don't give a shit if the Middle East hates me, right? So Eritrea is really hated. What's the, uh, no, nobody really hates Zimbabwe. Um, yeah, it's really just Eritrea, and their economy is really shit, but they're just so small, and their population is so minuscule, only 5 million, and we have, like, a population of, like, a billion, right? Yeah, 1.6 billion, so that's really not gonna impact our economy that much. It's gonna take us, you know, it's gonna take a, t a slight hit, but nothing really more than that. So, I'm thinking we could go for them. We do have a small-ass navy built up here, right? So, we could go ahead and deploy that and get this show on the road. Right? Yes? Okay. Well, uh, ooh, actually, let's, let's take a look at Eritrea really quickly. Okay, they don't have a navy. Alright, perfect, perfect, perfect. Uh, there is a problem, though, because we don't have any destroyers. At least I don't think we do. Do we? Oh, no, we do have destroyers. Okay, sweet. Sweet. I didn't think I trained up any, but apparently I did. Alrighty, cool. Cool, 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 cool. And yeah, our economy did just adjust, and we're going to have to raise taxes back up. Probably to like a 62.5, maybe. Yeah. A little bit more than that. Yeah, there we go. Alright, sweet. But yeah, still lower than 80, which is perfect. Alrighty. Now let's see. Let's go ahead and embargo Eritrea. And then we shall declare war. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And yeah, the real the world really isn't gonna give a shit, to be quite honest. What about here? Did the, these guys, did the world hate these guys right here? Oh, that's India. India took that over? Woo! India! You getting out there! Holy shit! Alright, you do you, India. I'm gonna have to fuck you up eventually, but that time is not now. That time is not now. Alright, so go ahead and bombard that little shit right there, and we'll take our troops and get them over there. No? Yes! Okay, sweet. I thought I was gonna fuck me and not let me move my troops. But the game is deciding to be alright today. And let me move my troops. Alright, we'll switch over to the Empire map mode. And we'll click on ourselves, first of all. There we go. Sweet, let's see. And yeah, easy win. Perfectly easy win. That's how it's done, boys. That's how it's done. Come on. Come on. Why aren't they dying? Oh, <laughs> and the numbers just changed. Alrighty, let's go ahead and occupy Eritrea, uh, switch over to diplomatic relations, and annex them. There we go. Okay, woo! A lot of people actually didn't like that. Holy shit. Um, yeah, a lot of people didn't like that. What if we permit child labor? Will those countries like me more? Yeah, they do. Okay, sweet. We'll probably have to bump up our foreign aid, actually, which we, we can afford to do. We can perfectly afford to do that. So we will. 
let's see, how are we looking now? Alright, not that bad. As long as no one's at negative 99, we will be fine. Alright, so let's go ahead, get all of our troops together, and... I'll probably actually leave that detachment right there in Eritrea, and then I'll go ahead and just deploy the uh, other section of my army, after I train them up, of course, into China, and they'll be in our main territory area. Alrighty. Sweet! We have added another colony to our dominion! This is, this is pretty awesome, guys. I should also check my eternal laws, because there's probably other legal shits now that I have to get rid of. So that way they switch to the dominant thingy. Yeah, we'll just legalize. Yep, there we go. Oops, there's a legal right there. Burmese, yeah, that's gotta go. It has got to go. Alrighty, cool. Cool, cool, cool. So we're on the way to establishing a homogenous society. We really don't need to do that, but I will anyway. <laughs> It gives you a slight stability boost, so that that's really why I'm doing it. And our corruption is being picked away at because our government spending is through the roof. It will raise environmental spending. Sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. We're still not meeting consumption in a lot of areas. Actually, I think in every single area still, we're not meeting consumption. But that's okay. As long as we have a positive balance, that shit don't matter. Alrighty. <laughs> I don't. I don't know what else to say, guys. I don't know what else to say. We're probably actually strong enough now to go at war with the whole world. Although I, I don't want to devolve to that just yet because ooh, the U.S. does not like me. Whoa. Yeah, probably because I legalized child labor. Who gives a shit, though? Um, yeah. They didn't like that. They really didn't like that. Well, screw you, America. We don't need you to like us. We are independent. We're a strong, independent black woman. Wait, what? I didn't, you didn't hear me say that. I would like to take over Japan. That would be pretty cool to have Japan in our dominion. Huh. I don't want everyone... Oh, Morocco! People really hate Morocco. We should go for them next. What about Honduras? Eh, not as much as Morocco. Yeah, let's go for Morocco. What about Albania? No. Okay, they just have a rivalry. Alrighty. Benign? Yeah, no one really hates Benign. Alright, sweet. So let's go to war with Morocco then. So yeah, I'm just racking up the colonies here, guys. Just racking them up. Sweet. Yeah, let's 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 do this. Let's embargo them and go to war. Hopefully the the US isn't going to like intervene and fuck us over. Okay, let's see. Are we good? All right, we're good. Sweet. All right, let's go ahead and bombard that shit. And let's get our troops over there. Actually, we might uh <laughs> we might want to get more troops before we head over there. I'm not sure if this is going to be enough. Here, let's just deploy a thousand more toaster ovens into Eritrea. We should be fine anyways. Like, we have a way more advanced army than them. Come on. Merge them up. Merge them up. There we go, sweet. All right, let's head over there. Boom, 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 boom. And Morocco shall be ours. Are we winning that shit? Yes, of course we are. Of course we are. Glorious, glorious, glorious. If we can, we can afford to raise some things in the budget tab here. We'll go ahead and put up environment. Oh, no. Oh, now we're losing. Okay, yeah, see? Uh, that, that's what I was fearing. Okay, I thought that might happen. Let's, let's go ahead and deploy these boys to Eritrea. There we go. And we'll get them over there as soon as possible. No, I don't want to attack Algeria. Come on. Come on. Why can't I move him? Oh, shit. Now I can. And it looks like they defeated my army. Well, shit. Hopefully this army's gonna, gonna stomp on them. Come on. Come on. Yes, it is. All right, sweet. So, yeah, those toaster ovens. <laughs> and the Kimmobiles. You can't forget the Kimmobiles. 
All right, we should probably raise up our foreign aid because people are going to start hating us here in a second. Yeah, Africa really, really doesn't like us, and Europe is starting to hate us as well. So we should probably cut back once we annex Morocco here, or else we're going to be in a world war. Not that we couldn't handle that. We probably could at this point, but I don't want to devolve it to that just yet because that's going to turn this whole thing into a shit show. Alrighty, we can stop bombarding that area because we don't want to be bombarding ourselves, of course. And I, guess, I suppose we could raise education a tiny bit there. Alrighty. Well, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and call it a quits for this episode. If you guys enjoyed this one, please leave a like, please comment, and please, please, please subscribe. It really helps out, and it really does mean a lot. So once again, thank you guys so, so much for watching, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye!